What is CQL? CQL is chess query language. It's a way to produce a PGN file with many different games that match your search. In order to get CQL, you need a PGN format database, which can be found on Google. And this link will be in the description right here. And uh, this link gives you the exe file that searches a database and it also gives you a bunch of scripts so the syntax may appear a little bit confusing at first but if you've ever programmed with HTML or PHP uh, a number of programming languages you might actually find it kind of familiar feeling and there's also a number of kind of creative ways to find specific things if you become good with the scripting so let's look at the folder again these are all the script files that come with the program they're CQL and the HTML files actually are um, they're not necessary and they, they don't work with the programs you can use notepad to view them though but for people that can't you can open them in Firefox or Internet Explorer over here so check them out and kinda try to understand them uh, the creator's website's a little bit useful, but it's not easy to understand at times, so you'll just have to mess around with it. So, once you've downloaded this, um, you're also going to need a database. The database has to be PGN. This right here is Fritz12. It's not a free program. So, you're going to have to either buy it or find another program that does the same thing. Let's see here. Let's open up a database. All right. So you select a bunch of games. These just happen to be games I've played against Fritz. Oops. Right there. And then you can go to your menu and hit Selection to Text File. And you can hit PGN and just hit OK. And it will create a PGN file and we're gonna call it hydrogen 9 so then you just hit new or open done it's that easy so anyways this is hydrogen PGN this is my uh, my database it's it's actually half of my database it's about two million games take any any of the files you want let's take just for example, smothered mate. Just take the CQL file, drag it into CQL exe. And so now the program just searches through the all of your database and I have, you know, two million, so it it would take a real long time to go through the whole thing. And it's just gonna search through all the games until it finds smothered mates. So out of 54,000 so far, you know, 55, 60, 63, 65, um, there, there hasn't been a single, smother, a single smothered mate. Aha, and we finally have one. 79,890, another one here. So then, oh, another one. Okay, so anytime you want, you can just X out. And it will save your smothered mates in a file called out.pgn. So, I'm going to open this. I use a program called Baba's Chess, so it found four smothered mates, and let's check one out. Baba's Chess is in fact a free program. I'd recommend it for everybody, and also it allows you to connect to FICS for your internet chess server. So, and here we have a smothered mate on turn six. So. I'm sure you all can see the powerful functions of this program for your studies and for your entertainment. Um, real quickly, we're going to look at what they mean. So, you have, this is the format right here, the match, the input file name, meaning the database PGN, as you can see here, the database PGN. Uh, the output is going to be whatever it's called, and the default, as I've mentioned earlier, is out.pgn. 
and the positions just involve using commands. So one of the commands is piece count. P means pawn. Then it, there's brackets B2 to 7, meaning anywhere between B2 and B7, because pawns can't start out on the B1 or, yeah. And this means there's four of them. So you could make that three for tripled pawns, but this is quad right here. Shift horizontal means it could be in any of the files. Flip color means it could be either black or white. End parenthesis, end parenthesis. So that's basically the syntax. And if you want to learn the specific commands, like I said, you can uh, check the help file and the internet website.